<laughs> oh, it's like a slingshot. Oh. What is good, YouTube? Because I was doing stupid things off camera, I now have a mask, chin, chin mask, chin strap mask for protection. Okay. Ah. What do we got to do? Ooh. What is this? Walmart. I know Walmart sells shoes, but I'm pretty sure my customer didn't buy this uh, from Walmart. Uh, we're gonna do a restoration today. That is right. Oh my God, it seems like my customer is giving me a bunch of supplies. All the stuff that I need to use to get this all sexy and crimson-y. Wow, and uh, he basically wants me to deep clean this inside and out. <sighs> Fix up the poor bleeding crimson jumpy jump man on the heel that's chipping away slowly and that's it no midsole repaint thank god uh just clean it and then repaint this now i think angelus doesn't have a crimson uh paint so i told him like hey the closest one that I got is infrared. It's not gonna be the same, duh. You can customize your own, uh, but he's actually cool with just me using the infrared. That's actually gonna make my job a lot easier. What else do you need? Uh, you're gonna need some GAC, right? Plastic kind of Haitian promoter. Oh, there's my tool. Oh my God. <laughs> you're gonna need this. I was looking for this. Uh, in case there's any rocks and pebbles on the outsole, you know, just pick it off. You're gonna need a lot of Angelus's good quality stuff. Good quality stuff, yeah. Don't ever, you know, do this. Oh, jeez. All three Reshubinator brushes, soft, medium, stiffy Reshubinator or sneaker cleaning solution. Quick inspection. Yeah, it's not too bad. There's no existing damages. I'm talking about like a separation of glue. Uh, peeling off of like paint. Yeah, it's just normal cracking. Make sure there's no rocks and pebbles. I'm gonna use my oh, I'm gonna use my laser eyes and I think I see something stuck between the A. There we go. Grab a bowl with water. Okay. Just totally too much. Leon, oh my god. By the way, this is a shoe mic. Don't copy our idea. Let's deep clean the entire shoe inside and out. Focus on the uppers first with the soft brush. Then the second round, we're gonna go ahead and use the medium brush. Let's shake this off and let's test this out. Is it bubbly? That's the kind of action you want. Hmm, for this particular oh, interesting. More Kirkland Costco cloths because for this particular shoe, we have some toe crease issues. I'm gonna remove the entry, put the cloth inside the toe area because I think that's actually going to help reduce the toe crease even more. Ah, much better. Now, if you guys are familiar with the hot iron method of reducing the toe crease, go ahead and do it. I'm gonna do it at the end when everything is all good to go. Suds on my face. Fuck it. Suds on my shirt. No problemo. The point is to clean the bottoms of this Air Jordan 3 as much as possible. Oh my god. Testing is done. Here, here, here. Let me dry this up first just to see um, or gauge how long it's gonna take me to do this. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay, yeah, it's good. It's gonna take me two days. <laughs> you wanna see? All right, there you go. Look at how clean the bottoms look. Now, thanks to my awesome detailing work um the inside's still wet because i was cleaning the interior as well as the uh, asian stinky insoles as well as the chinese black noodle laces make sure you clean those too 
Ivory. What happened to my Dawn? Let's take a peek at the interior. Uh, there's a lot of lint, uh, random Asian here. So what we're gonna do is detail the interior by vacuuming it. Yes, you don't need to have this crazy vacuum cleaner, but I'm gonna... I think it's a little too powerful. What is good, YouTube? Different day, different black shirt. You know. <coughs> okay, enough of that. So, what I did was strip off the original crap with acetone. Boop! You're gonna need some Q tip just because it's gonna be more accurate when you're stripping away the old kind of paint crap. This side, the right side, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, this basically has a few coats of flat white Angelus with some GAC. I'm gonna to top it off with the infrared uh, collector's edition paint with GAC, same ratio, one to one, 50-50, half and half. You don't wanna to do too much. Mix with acrylic mediums and colors to a maximum of 75%, three to one on rigid supports and 50% one to one on flexible supports. Yeah, this is definitely rigid. So you can do a maximum 75% uh, three to one ratio, but I kept it as one to one because I made a boo boo. The reason why I used flat white as the base is because just like the midsole, uh, they actually used white first before they painted the crimson over it. Dum-dums are like, oh no, how do we strip off this jumpy jump man with the acetone with a Q-tip? Show you guys right now. Oh yeah, so you're supposed to wear a mask. So, voila, just carefully go like so and you'll see. Ooh. I like that sound. That it's kind of doing something. No, it's doing something. There you go. Check it out. See the undercoat is white. Uh, make sure that it is smooth and clean and dry before you do the base. Uh, throw this aside and that's all you gotta do. I'm gonna work off camera, finish this side with the infrared, see how it looks like and show you guys if it doesn't look good. Ah, Mr. Christmas. That's too bad. Let's pour a little bit. Uh, too much. Expensive paint. Okay. Now. Gack it up. Eh. This, I'm still going to do 50-50. Stir this up nicely. You guys ready? Oh, man, I'm not... Okay. Alright. Let's do this. It's fogging up my face. Test out T D D D D. Yeah. Make sure you do thin coats because you're gonna have to do a few layers of this. And some of you guys are wondering, like, do I need to add a finisher on top when this is done? Uh, you don't have to because paint already has a finisher. All right, so this is just a quick sample how it looks like professional. Now do a few coats, make sure it's solid, looking good, just like the OG, but not really. Almost done. Yes, I am complete. Check that out. That's how it's supposed to look like, um, or better, you know, if you actually customized your paint to crimson, it's gonna look better than mine. Make sure you clean your tools. Uh, I'm just gonna put the laces on, make sure the shoe is good and sexy. Take some sexy photos. <laughs> I'm gonna include my face, of course. And uh, let's wrap this video up with, I don't know, face painting? Should we do face painting? Yeah, okay, let's do some base painting. I'm, don't waste your paint. That's over there, ooh. No, actually, no, that, that's that's actually not good. No, I should, um, yeah, okay. What's that? No face painting? 
Okay, now I gotta wash all this crap off my face. Okay, great. You guys, I freaking hate you.